What's up everybody, this is Forgo, and today we have Sneak Peek 3, and this one really threw us all for a little bit of a loop, but I do believe there's a bit of a tie-in, but just not in the same comic book run. But there is some tie-in with some characters. So, greetings agents, this is CM Fragment of Marvel Future 5. A suspicious code has arrived at S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters, giving distressing information from another world. The code has been interpreted, but what is the true meaning of this message? It seems that we need our agents' help to solve this new problem. The next story of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hint, hint, hint. And then we see the S.H.I.E.L.D. emblem here. Let's check this thing out. So we see a lot of encoding. We see the S.H.I.E.L.D. background. S.H.I.E.L.D. campaign initiated. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. And then please help to support the agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as they prepare for a whole new threat. Thank you. So let's see what everybody says down here. Let's see what everybody thinks. Now, I see quite a few more dislikes than I see likes, which is a bit unfortunate. You know, I think people were kind of really expecting more as Guardian sneak peeks because we were all so hyped up about it and still am very excited. Can't wait. But this isn't a bad thing. This could mean potential uniforms for some other characters that really deserve love uh honestly guys they've been crap for years so it'd really be nice to see some other characters get some love and there is a little bit of a tie-in with shield with one of the ass guardians now so you know right here we see tier three daisy in the patch a character who wasn't on the list who is less popular than emma frost okay okay so, you know, a little salty that a character that isn't as popular as another character might get love. I don't know. You know, personally, any character for me that isn't good deserves to be good in the game. Because all of us, we all have our little personal favorites. And really, you know, it's just nice to see all characters get love. I don't care who they are. I don't care if I'm a fan of them or not. I always want to see characters get love because I know there's some other player out there that that is their favorite character. And they're happy to see it. So I personally am all for any character getting love, especially if they're crap right now. Hmm, way too many ass guardians to only deserve half an update. I oh my god. Yeah, see, unfortunately, people getting a little upset. Who's getting a tier four? That's interesting. You see T4 here. I don't think anybody's getting a tier four. Uh no, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. This is awesome. This means no Quake Tier 3, okay? New story mission. Now, this is someone that I I definitely agree with. This is what I think it actually is. I think it's actually a new story mode. And that is actually a good thing. We need another story mode. You know, currently, right now, we have our, you know, Dimensional All Clash. We have the All War. But looky here, guys. Looky here. It is a story mode. The True Shield. What could they do in this? Now, in the All War, we actually have to play with our Awakened Tier 3 characters. So in this game mode, it's going to probably be the same thing. We're going to have to play with Awakened and Tier 3 characters. And what I'm hoping is rewards. And God Almighty, how many times have we mentioned rewards in this game? I'm really, really hoping that they give us Titan component packs, Essence of Dimension, BAM, whatever, tier 3 materials in here. Please, Netmarble, give us tier 3 materials in this game mode. And it would really be icing on the cake. And I know they're probably not going to do this, but if you didn't have to have Awaken in tier 3 characters, maybe make it to where they could play on like uh, a certain game mode, a certain level, and they can play with characters that are non-awakened, that are not tier threes, and still get some resources, just not as much as the players that do have awakened characters and tier three characters, where they can get more materials if they play in a harder game mode. That I think would be pretty freaking amazing, and I think everybody would be happy if they done something like that. That would be so cool if they did that, but we all know Net Marble. More than likely, they're going to take something that could have been potentially really good and turn it into something that isn't so good. But you never know. You never know. I wouldn't hold my breath uh, for some real quality change. and Well, not quality change, but 
Well, yeah, actually quality change and quality improvements are re resources. I would hold my breath for it, but we can always hope. Now, what does S.H.I.E.L.D. have to do with as Guardians? Well, Sif. Uh, there is a lot, a lot of tie-ins in comics with Sif especially and S.H.I.E.L.D. I mean, there's other characters as well, but I'm pointing my finger at Sif because Sif is actually in the Herald of Thor run. And she's actually more or less Heimdall's, which she is, uh, in that run. She is freaking amazing in there. I really didn't want to go in spoilers. I know, you know, other YouTubers are kind of shelling out the spoiler territory. But I really didn't want to, but there's a really epic moment in there with her where she shows up to do something pretty special, in my opinion, and really cool. But she is in that run and she ties in with the S.H.I.E.L.D. characters big time with S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, so I think that more than likely, Sif's going to get a little something too. But the problem is, and I'm, I'm praying to God this happens, you know, we get like three Awakened characters per update. So I'm really, really hoping that she gets an Awakened skill. I'm uh, really praying, you know, I know, I bet money Valkyrie's going to get one. I bet money she's going to get one. But I'm really hoping that Sif gets an Awakened skill too. But, but make her great. Make her good. In this story, she is the equivalent of Heimdall. You know, all seeing, sees everything, uh, ridiculously powerful, you know, controller of the Bifrost. I mean, this is who, I mean, I really hope she gets some because she's been trashed for so long. And you see that I got a couple of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. You could also put Coulson in there. Uh, you could put, you know, other characters, Lash in there and other characters from S.H.I.E.L.D. in here that haven't got love. But Quake has been terrible for a long time. She has been bad for a long freaking time. You know, we used to use her back in the day. I believe it's her third skill for this third skill. It says apply to self, but actually this thing applies to your all allies. You can actually hit this, switch to your next character and get this 180% damage. We used to use her all the time back in the day because of this third skill to really bump up our other characters. Uh, she was a massive support. She can do work in like low stages of Shadowland and that's pretty much about it with her, you know, a little bit of CC that she has. That's about all she can do. She is trash and she deserves to be freaking amazing. And the same goes for Lincoln. Lincoln is actually a good low level Shadowland character, especially for the Hulk rumbles. He's actually amazing for that. But He's trash, no survivability, no nothing. Where's his immunity? Where's his invincibility? The same for Quake. You know, I really want these characters to be strong. Honestly, I'm not, I'm a little biased. I want Sif to really get the most love. I'm a little biased. I love Sif. I want her to get love because I think she's a freaking fantastic character. She's a love interest of Thor in some runs. Uh, she is, she's just awesome. She's a bad mofo. And, well, she isn't in this game, but she deserves to be. So, I'm actually still pretty excited for this update because of the potential. I think that if they take that story mode, and if they implement some good resources for all of us, we're going to be happy. But if they, you know, give us the old shaft, and it's just, oh, you can only use Awakened characters, and only Tier 3s, and the rewards aren't that good... It's just going to be the same rewards that we can already get in the story mode. Then, and, you know, we get some good uniform chips from playing the All Father, and that, that's fine. But we really need Tier 3 materials. That is where the game is hurting. Give us more materials. Please give us more materials. Because if you don't, Netmarble, well, we're just in the same boat that we were before. You know, we'll get more characters, but the issues that the game has won't be addressed. You know, and the fact, and I mentioned this in the last video, and the fact that Null is the primary world boss, these characters, get off this, need to be awakened. They need to be transcended. They need to be tier three. And if you want us to use these awakened and tier three characters to play this game mode that you're massively pushing on us, then you need to give us more resources. Whether it's more resources in the world boss, which I really would like and prefer, 
or have resources here and in the story mode that would be dope or have a shop in the story mode that would be dope we mentioned that before having a shop in the story mode where you could farm maybe certain uh crafting materials and you could craft uh certain materials that you want like craft ccf craft titan component packs craft essence of dimension something like that would be freaking amazing so I'm still very positive about this update. I still think it could be freaking amazing because we know that we're getting Loki. We know we're getting Thor. We know that we're getting Valkyrie. We know that those characters, we know that we're going to have three Awakened characters and I'm betting money that Loki's going to get a tier three. I'm betting money that Sif and Valkyrie are going to be Awakened. And there's talk of Hela as well. Not Nothing so far leaked or anything like that, but... A lot of us are assuming that Hela could get some love too, which would be freaking amazing. Have her as a tier three. So there is still a lot to look forward to. Hopefully in the next sneak peek, we'll get a better idea of what's going on. But I'm really excited, guys. Let me know how you're all feeling about the shield sneak peek and the story mode that pretty much I'm betting money we're going to get. It's already shown in the game. It's been in the game for a long time and the potential of that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching y'all. Take care and have a good one.